We often hear this movement or this group of films being referred to as the Czech New Wave. The films were produced in Czechoslovakia. The film industry was nationalized in 1945, so actually the Czechoslovak state was a producer. The group of the filmmakers was comprised by Czechs, Slovaks. Many times the crews were completely Czech and Slovaks. So you cannot really separate those. You cannot say one film is a Czech new wave film and another is Slovak new wave. And I think it was also from the Czech point of view, the majority of the country was Czech. So it was two thirds were Czech. So they didn't really pay uh, such attention to correcting that at the time when it was coined. And it just carried on through film schools and film history studies. And I think that we should think of it as a mistake that would be if you called the Yugoslav Black Wave Serbian. So the films of the Czechoslovak New Wave or the attempts of the filmmakers was really in contradiction to whatever they were seeing in the cinemas. In the post-war period of Czechoslovak cinema was completely directed by the communist regime. And these um, films are about sort of the building of, of, of this uh, future uh, idealistic state. Everybody is very politically aware. And the new generation in the 60s just really wanted to create something very new. They said they want to see themselves on the screen. They didn't want to see these unrealistic young people who are fighting for the socialist or communist state, as you would call it. Love to the Blonde was a big success. You know, commercially in Czechoslovakia, I think it was the second most successful film in those times. And so how shall we top this? So we went to see the local fireman's ball. Starting the next day, we couldn't stop talking about anything else. During the day, we are talking and making known for the film. And in the evening, we went to the local firehouse and played cards with the firemen. So uh, when we had the script, I told them, listen, we want to be in the, fi in the film. Yeah, sure, we'll be in the film, of course. You know, just okay. <laughs> we were aware that whole fireman committee is some kind of a metaphor about the Politburo of Communist Party. We didn't say a word to anybody about that. We just knew it. And we knew that this might be very you know, dangerous for the film if they get the notion and that film will never be made if we'll write it the way they can read it. So what we did very often here, that we wrote something which we knew we will do differently when we'll be shooting. The authorities said this kind of cinema is unacceptable. And uh, the attitude was that the new wave from 63 to 69, 70, was in fact a perversion. It was uh, pessimistic, egotistical, erotic, incomprehensible, unacceptable to a good sort of socialist person for whom all problems were solvable. Uh, the future was glorious, and none of these sinister psychological problems existed. The Czechoslovak New Wave really came about with a generation of filmmakers like Miloš Forman, Vera Chytilová, Jan Němec, Pavel Juráček, Jara Milieres. These filmmakers were all schoolmates at the Film Academy of Music, which was the film school of, of the country. And many of them were using very new filmmaking approaches. Cinema verite is especially a type of filmmaking that you can recognize in these films, or very non-conformist or experimental ways of filmmaking, like Vera Chytilová or Jan Němec. Žil Fajvka Kučera, profesor Střihu, který vždycky mě byl nějakým způsobem podezřelý. Ten měl skripta a tam byla takové věty, jako že jízda je buržoazní výrazový prostředek. A to nás učili. 
A jako, já jsem říkal, proč, no když jedete, tak nemůžete udělat výběr, to tam máte všechno a my jako marxisté a leninismem vždycky musíme vybrat, upozornit, co je negativní a co je pozitivní a v té jízdě vlastně vy to všecko dáváte, že všecko jako je rovno, čili tam nemůže být ten třídní, ten třídní pohled. No tak tenhle ten temadletem a kravinama nás pan Kučera živil. There's a lot of certain amount of debate about whether Valerie and her week of wonders was the last film of the new wave. I would say it virtually was. The Russians have invaded in 68. The film came out in 1970, which is the year the Czech film industry came down like a, a ton of bricks on, on the new wave and everything it stood for. One of the connecting links between this film and other films of the late 60s is Esther Krumbakova, who was co-screenwriter and designer on the film. And she worked also with Viera Chitilova on Daisies and the Fruit of Paradise. Her design sense carries through all these films, so I think you have a sense of a stylistic link through her work. You could not be alienated under communism, whereas much of the new wave was about alienation, what was wrong with the society. <laughs> <laughs> 